cleaning jewelry with lure in gemstones method. 1. Know which types of jewelry should be kept dry. Pieces of jewelry with gemstones that are glued into the setting, like many earrings, should not be submerged in water. 1. Warm water can loosen the glue, which can cause your gemstones to fall out. 2. Especially when subjected to a throw-out brushing. For these types of jewelry, use a special cleaning method that avoids total submersion in water. Two, wipe the jewelry with a wet, soapy cloth. Make a small quantity of this soap solution, as in method one. Dip a soft, delicate towel in the solution and gently scrub your jewelry. Three. Rinse the jewelry with a cloth, then paint with plain water. Gently dab a wet cloth onto the jewelry, taking care to soak up any leftover soap suds. 4. Lay or hang the pieces upside down after cleaning. Allow your jewelry to dry in this way. By letting your jewelry dry upside down, you allow any remaining moisture to drip out, ensuring it won't soak into the setting. Cleaning jewelry using boiling water method. 1. Know when boiling is appropriate. Gold itself can be boiled with no problems. However, boiling delicate gemstones like opals, pearls, coral, and moonstones can cause them to crack. Or become damaged, especially if the jewelry is cold before boiling. Boiling is also a bad idea for jewelry with glued gemstones, as it can loosen the glue. However, if you are looking to clean heavily soiled jewelry made entirely out of gold. Or gold jewelry that contains strong gemstones like diamonds, boiling is a great choice. Two, bring water to a boil. You don't need to boil much water, just enough to submerge all of the jewelry in. If you are waiting for the water to boil, set your gold jewelry in a sturdy bowl or another vessel that won't be damaged by boiling water. Direct or metal cooking bowls or dishes are good choices. Arrange jewelry in the dish or bowl so that no piece of jewelry is covering up another piece. Water should be able to reach every piece of jewelry. 3. Carefully pour the water over your jewelry. 
Be careful not to spill or splash your pouring too rapidly. Boiling water can cause serious burns. When all the jewelry is completely submerged, you are adding enough water. Four. Wait for the water to cool. When you can comfortably put your hands in the water, you can remove the jewelry. Follow a good boiling by scrubbing each piece of jewelry with a soft brush. Then, dabbing it dry with a soft towel and allowing it to sit and air dry completely. Don't be afraid if the water appears dirty. This is good. As boiling water loosens the dirt, wax, dreams, etc. It spill up on your jewelry. It may float to the surface of the water. The dirtier your water looks, the more dirt you've removed from your jewelry. Subscribe, share, and activate the notification bell. Thanks for watching.